Just got something in the mail today from a new friend I met on YouTube from Down Under Mike, Australia, James Dobson. He mentioned he was going to be making me a postcard. So, take a look and see what we got. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is cool. Look at that. James Dobson, sign guy from Down Under. Oh, wait, it looks like this is an envelope. That's awesome. Oh, no more tips. Well, that's it. <laughs> that's the card. Oh, I see. This was put in there for rigidity. Look at that. That is awesome. Hand drawn design. I see, yeah, it's colored. I have to put on my glasses to see it. That is so cool. Now I'm going to make a sign out of this. Thank you so much, James Dobson. That's rad. First thing to do is to put the uh, image into a opaque projector in this case and make a pattern out of that. And then using electro pounce, Go ahead and um, putting the whole little perforated holes in, following all the lines. Next is transferring those lines onto the substrate using charcoal powder. Then retracing the lines with a grease pencil because the charcoal can easily be accidentally rubbed off. Cut out all the shapes with a jigsaw and then sand all the edges smooth. Spray paint all the background colors. and airbrush the finer details. Some outlining and some detail brushwork. Blocking out additional colors. More airbrush detailing. Some lettering, trying to match the postcard as close as possible. Some more airbrush detailing. The purple I used before was too dark, so I brightened it up. Some more lettering, again, trying to stay as true to the postcard as I can. A bit of a wavy line using my double lot MAC pinstriping brush. And a little bright red one shot. Some more outlining. Adding the thin black lines, again using my double lot MAC pinstriping brush. And black. Adding the green highlight in the very back panel. Using a black Sharpie pin for the dot patterns. Using a scroll saw to cut out the sign shop letters. That material is quarter inch PVC black. Adding Dobson's name as it's shown on the postcard. Cut one inch square aluminum tubing and 3M high bond two-sided tape for mounting standoffs. And it's assembly time. Three sixteenths aluminum threaded studs easily tap themselves into the PVC. Pre-drilled holes and some hot glue create a secured mounting system.
the distance the elements are standing off is pretty dramatic. Uh, it makes it really fun to look at. It looks like the elements are exploding. And here's the final sign. Thank you so much for watching and happy sign making.